What's up, everybody? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. How you guys doing on this Sunday without football? Mm. Damn, this sucks. You wish that football could be every Sunday. You know, like football season would be like Christmas every weekend of the year but unfortunately guys bodies got to heal and um nothing we can do about that but at least we have talk the one thing you've got about the nfl that you do not have with the other sports and things is the off season can be just as exciting as during the season and as teams are beginning to jockey for position um and trying to figure out how we can do better the following year there's plenty of speculation and talk for all of us fans. So I'm accused of this being a Dak Prescott, Dak only channel and so on. And it's not really the case. I do like Dak Prescott. I do think he's the best option for the Cowboys at quarterback. I think the Cowboys were blessed to have gotten him in the fourth round as opposed to what the Eagles or the Rams had to do you know, on golf for Carson Wentz, I think that the Cowboys have a good situation, a guy who works well with the organization as well as the players that are there. I don't see Dak Prescott being the problem, the major problem with the Dallas Cowboys. I see the defense. And as much as the haters out there will say, Mark's throwing guys underneath the bus and everything else and this, that, and it. yeah, some guys do deserve to be thrown under the bus. I'm not going to be you know, uh, somebody who's just blindly telling you everything's wonderful when it's not. The Cowboys are a mess. Let's be clear. Some of it their own making, some of it just bad luck, and some of it just the football gods are against them, as well as the officials. It just is what it is. But I'm still not going to lie to you. Now, the thing I have been, there's been a couple of things that I have just been pounding the table with for years. One has been defensive tackles. Another one's been safeties. Another one has been getting Dak Prescott's deal done. Here's the thing. I said a couple of years ago, get Dak Prescott's deal done before Russell Wilson. I said because once Russell Wilson is done, the market gets reset. So Wilson would be the standard bearer until somebody else takes over for it. And then everybody else would fall in line behind that. And people said, no, we need to see more from Dak Prescott. You can't pay him $30 million. And that cost the Cowboys. So Russell Wilson got paid. The market raised up. Because before Russell Wilson got paid, Matt Ryan was the highest paid. And once he got paid, Big Ben was in. You know, Aaron Rodgers, Kurt, uh, Kurt Cousins. Well, no, Kurt was, well, he redid his at 32. Um, but Jared Goff and Carson Wentz, all of a sudden those guys started falling in line behind him. So I said, the Cowboys need to hurry up in the same way I said two years ago, they need to hurry up and get the contract done for Dak Prescott because other guys are coming. We know Pat Mahomes reset the market at 45. That's the standard bearer. That's the new Russell Wilson, which means everybody else is going to be following in line behind that reset market. You already saw Deshaun Watson at 39. Now we're hearing now today that the Ravens are beginning negotiations with Lamar Jackson. Now, both sides are far apart as they always are, but that can change really quickly. And here's the problem. We keep looking at this and saying, well, Pat Mahomes, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, he's got all that money and everything else, but Pat Mahomes is, is different and he's a standard. Bear. I, I, I'm agreeing with that. But at some point, somebody's going to pass him. But you got Lamar Jackson now that they're working on his contract. Josh Allen, they're planning on working on his contract as well. I guarantee you both of those will be in the 40s. We're sitting there saying you can't pay Dak 40. Well, if you are Todd France and you're looking at these other guys and all of a sudden you've got Baker Mayfield who they're talking about doing as well, you're looking at the whole system increasing. 
you as the owner or team want to be on the front side of that before the market keeps getting reset. And herein lies the problem for the Cowboys. The Cowboys have nobody to blame but themselves. You can call Dak Prescott greedy or whatever you want to. The reality is it's not. It's just the market. I mean, we could go through and say Kirk Cousins was greedy. We could say Jimmy Garoppolo was greedy. We could say Matthew Stafford and Derek Carr, you know, that Andrew Luck, that all that, that, that um, Matty Ice and, you know, uh, Russell Wilson were all greedy because all of them took more money than anybody had before them. It's the nature of it. From the time Troy Aikman signed that big-ass franchise quarterback deal, it's constantly moved up. It doesn't go backwards. So the Cowboys need to get this thing done sooner than later, or it may cost them even more because the market is being redone as we speak. Now, the good news is um, if you look, um, my Cowboys family actually has some great clips and stuff from Dak Prescott at his quarterback camp uh, or at a quarterback camp. You see him standing around, walking around and everything else. Uh, there's also um, pictures of him getting his ankle, you know, stretched and everything else. And you know, his hands behind his head, he looked happy as could be. Because I tell you what, when I've been in physical therapy on my knees and stuff getting worked on, man, that shit hurt like hell. There was no smiling in there. There was no smiling in there. But all of these things are relative to what it is with the Cowboys. Hopefully... And I believe that this week is the week that we get this together. Um, I've got so many trolls out there that literally say that I'm, do I want to go to it? Hold up. Let me see if I can come back to it. Um, I can't find it now. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it alone because, you know, that just uh, talking about the trolls just brings them around even heavier. But they say that I'm constantly wrong and throwing players under the bus and this. Uh, okay, whatever. Then, then here's the thing that I don't understand. People who tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. People who tell me I'm an idiot. And see, the funny thing is, is this person kept saying that the Cowboys can't sign Dak Prescott, can't sign Dak Prescott because they only have $17 million of cap room. They can't franchise tag him. They can't sign a long-term contract. He's gone. And I think I challenged that person. I said, you know what? I will bet you, and I said, I'll give you a rack free of charge. Any team you want because I don't think you're a Cowboy fan. If – the Cowboys end up not signing Dak Prescott to a franchise tag or a long-term deal. And I said, if you're wrong and the Cowboys do, I said, you know what? You come on the show and say, you know what? I was wrong. You're right. You are the man. But instead of this person manning up, he continues to say, oh, Mark's lying to you. Mark, just, you know, I'm a grown-ass man. And I stand behind what I say and I do on here. But if you really don't like what I do or you think I'm wrong, then why do you watch? That's the funny thing. You scream and yell about how much you suck and how much you're wrong, but yet you still come back. Hmm. I think that says more about you than it does about me. But then again. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I will see you guys a little later.